see if it's going to get me now. There it is. Hello, hello, hello. morning it uh it's good i left the uh green screen down if i'm way loud please let me know um i'm still adjusting everything um i left the green screen down so we can see it i'm sure people want to see it so i was gonna uh leave the green screen down so we can do stuff Giant learning curve, if you know what I mean. It's weird to have a wireless headset. <laughs> I'm not tripping over my wires. Hopefully we don't have no back feed issues anymore. I don't see it on the board, so it's kind of crazy. I'm fishing in North Carolina today, Karma. On my end, the graphics look a lot, a lot of, a lot clearer. Um, I hope they do on your guys' end. Uh, you can catch Gar here, I think the thing says. It's totally not ready for that. I got a bite already. I was talking and trying to adjust stuff um i told people if i sound a little loud or things don't sound right please let me know i 
think the unboxing went really well. There's one of them pumpkin seeds. I can bump it down here one second, which is good if I'm louder now. I, I'm glad I could be. There's so many controls and buttons. I don't know what all to do. <laughs> Like a new car, yep. Heck yeah. There, that that might be a little better. I bumped the volume down. I haven't figured out all the features for the headset yet. Let me know if you hear anything in the background too, if you could, Carm. I don't know. Just try to see what's all going on in the all the changes. Yes, I am doing the class tonight. <laughs> I'm excited to do that class tonight. kind of quiet in here this morning. Warrior Week, for those that don't know, um, Wounded Warriors just does a huge streaming event to raise money. Next, I have not figured out what all them crazy little things mean. The crown in the first. I think she is a, uh, um, because she's a subscriber. Oh, she's into Prime Gaming, and then uh, she's a subscriber. Yep. There you go. If you hover over them, Crazy Bet Wife says it tells you what they all what all of them little mean, the little icons. If I'm loud, John, I'm trying to get used to everything. It's like a good car. Don't know what all the buttons do. It's crazy, that's for sure. The artwork and everything is just just crazy to even think about.
Um, can anybody hear the printer in the background? Anybody hear anything in my background besides the game? Nope. I've turned the no noise gate on, so maybe that that's an improvement. Um, I, the noise gate I actually use is through the OBS software. Thanks, Ninja. Did you get to see the unboxing yesterday, bud? It was kind of a uh, high anxiety moment for me. On your end, I'm kind of quiet. I uh, got COD down, got most of my games put back on. Got a pesky fly bothering me. There you go. There you go. Um. But yeah, I uh. Mama got me one of the little uh. Bobblehead guys, and I put him on top of the. On top of the PC. Morden Floridian. We are not running a green screen today. We're letting people see the. See the magic. Told everybody they have to bear with me. Um, learn all the new buttons and all the new controls and whatnot. Um, graphics is a huge change and update, that's for sure. Um, on my end, I'll have to go back and look at the playbacks and see how it is on your guys' end. But my end, everything's a lot crisp and more clear. Had to hover over Florian to see what kind of train that thing stood for. <laughs> Funny thing is, is I'll get all this all set up the way I want it, and then... Travis will be surprising me with my desk and my chair, and I'll be redoing the whole thing. <laughs> um, I played a little bit of COD with the daughter last night. Uh, was a lot. I felt like I, you know, shedded 60 pounds off my character, to be honest with you. I felt uh, a little quicker, actually, when I, you know, pushed, the, pushed down and ran. Actually seeing the guy pick his gun up and run, I could never see that much before um sound wise uh it was different to hear some of the sounds i normally didn't hear the things i didn't see
Um, me and the daughter played plunder, and we had first place till the last two seconds of the tick. We were pre-celebrating, and we lost the lead. <laughs> It'll take a little bit to get used to because, like, I mean, I feel like I'm the whole moving was uh, faster. I character in general turned around faster, spun faster. <laughs> Makes all the difference. Yes, yeah. I could actually hear all the noise I was making walking around and stuff. That was the part I'd never heard before. That was crazy. I was like, dude, everybody around you knows you're coming. You sound like a herd of elephants going through the going through the forest. It's Friday. What everybody got going on this weekend? Um, after the pipeline thing, yes, that's my goal. Floridian is uh, take her for a heavy run and see what I can, what trouble I can get into. Yes, I'd say we're gonna go have some good uh, pork loin and stuff. For those that don't know, uh, Meg's dad is a uh, Vietnam vet. Um, he was a sniper in the Marine Corps during Vietnam and. We go over and help him do things on the weekends and him and stuff and hang out. And he uh, has partaked in uh, becoming very good at smoking. So we uh, go over and have a smorgasbord. One of the coolest things, I think, is this PC I was able to put the Xbox on to use my PC part of my Game Pass, so I downloaded like Dead by Daylight, The Sea of Thieves. I put that stuff on on my PC, so it'll be kind of nice. Uh, we'll have to push the family out of the uh, out of the living room to be able to play some of the games with everybody. And the best thing is, if you tell him it doesn't taste that great, he'll keep trying, even though it could be awesome. One way, Hawkeye. Hey, how's it going, man? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, person, I should not be so judgmental. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I told you don't know. Yep. Thanks for stopping in. I am crazy vet fam, and I am a uh, disabled vet, and I come here every morning to hang out with everybody. Yes. Um, it is in action. Uh, did a test drive with it last night. Uh, very good. If you can't see it, I'll gladly move the camera around. We had the chat this morning. Uh, my son come out and says, um, do you need help putting your green screen up? I said, nobody's going to come see my ugly mug today. Everybody's going to want to see the beautiful PC running. <laughs> so we're going to leave it down. No, um, no capture card in it. Uh, so I'll save up my pennies and... Uh, I will get me one. But with the new PC uh, part of the Xbox, I can download the games on there. The only thing I won't be able to do is like my paid version of COD, but um, I will see my save my pennies. And on my Christmas list, I'll put the Cold War on there, and we will uh, just download it on here. Shellback Tech, going awesome, man. Um, been a great test drive. Um, other than that, I can say, uh, I like it. It's gorgeous. Um, a lot of things to learn. I have no back feed this morning. Everybody's very happy with that. We have no background noise. Um, it's amazing. So, uh, 
can't say enough. Very thankful. It is stupid quiet to sit next to. No noises. Um, was able to have an extra cup of coffee and not go, is the PC going to make it through the host stream today or not? <laughs> <laughs> um, graphics are crazy gorgeous um, and Floridian uh, you were right I've noticed if I sit back a little bit um, the thing we talked about last time on the cutting out I don't notice it so uh, maybe it's just a range thing and I can also turn off the Wi-Fi because I'm plugged in LAN and that seems to have helped a little bit so it might have been just some interference That's fine, man. You got to take care of yourself. I totally understand. It's running just fine without the, without the keys. Just get better, man. Overworked. And probably way underpaid. <laughs> I try telling her that for him, but she's always worried about how I am instead of worrying about herself. <laughs> no, know the feeling. Know the feeling. Emma. Gonna bust into some eye racing sometime this weekend to get my my week three series races done. Hoping to be able to do it during prime time to see how it goes. Very anxious to see how the graphics on the cars look because some of the people with nice PCs like the one I have now, um, their cars are like realistic. If you ever watch any of the uh, Facebook or YouTube videos of the eye racing circuit, so very excited. Once again, thanks for all the support yesterday, guys. I went through and updated all the little goal things. Um, it's huge. Uh, I could not take it all in yesterday um, emotionally and uh, whatnot, but uh, I really appreciate all this morning. Um, yes. She is amazing, man. She's been my rock. Um, I'm there and on the edge, she's uh, the first one to push me in the right direction. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, I have 1080 TV and it looks great. <laughs> My birthday's in March, so uh, well, I was thinking about maybe then I will uh, look at a, a crazy monitor and maybe a uh, um, getting some pedals and whatnot for my eye raising. When I did the research, I was thinking that. Um, Floridian, but I'm not 100% sure on that either. Okay, there you go, 2K. So it's half as rich. I have um, a TV that is 1080, and then I have a 24 inch monitor that is. Uh, 65 hertz in 1080. Oh, somebody's starting a uh, fishing tournament.
yeah, for those who know, this game is uh, not cross-platform. We all started getting into it in the morning. All of us that keep coming back, keep coming back. And then uh, now we uh, found out the hard way it's not cross-platform. PC and Xbox can fish together, but the PS4 people have to fish by themselves. Like they've got COVID and the rest of us don't. Check in on somebody that's normally here every morning. Make sure he's doing okay. I tend to do battle buddy checks on people I know that come every morning and at least say hi. If I don't hear from them, I kind of send them a message. Not that I care if they don't come see me, but I just want to make sure that they're okay. With a uh, 513C, you can become paid uh, there, Sexton, but most of the time, um, unless you're like a huge, huge, giant 513, there is uh, usually not a left funds left over at the end of the day. So yeah, find the that's what I was going to find the funds, just like some of your small, small businesses. I mean, at the end of the day, there's not enough left for everybody else. Yep, totally get it. Before I got way... Before I became a, a little worse, uh, crazy about wife was self-employed. Same thing there. Small business. I mean, mom, pa, even with the COVID thing, there's no funding for them. I mean, it's just been pretty devastating to her uh, business and stuff. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, that's the bad thing about being, I mean, it's good what we do, but when you're small, small, there's not a whole lot left at the end of the day. You're just thankful for what you do for people. Um, JR, I, it's awesome. The graphics are crazy. Um, it's, uh, like a new car, so you have to learn what all the little buttons and features do. Um, needs like a giant owner's manual. Or you just be funny and you send, uh, shell back tech pictures and ask, what does this button do? What does this button do? Thanks, man. It was awesome. Heck yeah. Totally understand, Shellback. Totally understand. Yep, and that's what people don't understand. I mean, there's some people ask, well, look, you know, these nonprofits, why don't they have all this stuff? It's like, dude, the, the funding, the funding, the funding. It's more than just knocking on people's doors. The man hours it takes to get that funding. The first thing I noticed today is the uh, no cord for the headset was like amazing because I always fidget with it, um, play with it, roll over it with <laughs> the, 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 the chair to wheels. Um, yeah, so that was the biggest uh, amazing. Then the second thing was when we fired everything up, no back feed. That back feed I've been fighting for God only knows how long um, is gone. People do not have white noise on their end. So that is awesome. Um. 
You only hear lake noise. You don't hear me at all. Are you saying as far as the uh, the back feed we used to have? I know I'm going to put my green screen up. Everybody's going to think I'm big time. Yeah, I uh, um, I know this month he starts doing some fundraising. I've kind of been talking to him a little bit to see when it all uh, starts, I know. And just like if you want to support me as a cool merchandise store, um, I uh, in my Christmas list, I want one of his cool gaming jerseys with my name on it. But uh, Chill Backlink does ones with the uh, name on the back of them every so often. So, yes. Yes, the Turtle Beach Elite. Atlas Aero headset is phenomenal. I don't know. Uh, Fishing Planet the last couple days has been making me pissy. Yes, and I'm going to uh, check some balances and try and get one on my list. I think they're awesome. I want one that says Crazy Vet Fam on it. Yes, they are. I think that's one thing. I, I know they're crazy expensive, but some places, if you fundraise for them, they give them out. Like, I've seen 8-Bit Gaming. Um, they're ones that donate gaming keys to vets. They they uh, um, they uh have some. If you raise some money for them, they'll send you one with your name and stuff on them. Um, I just I think I'll start doing some charity streaming and definitely maybe start a collection. Ooh. XXL. Not that big. <laughs> oh, the mouse pads. Oh, I'm I love the mouse pads. I love it being that long. I got the edge tucked under the uh PC and it lays out here pretty nice. And I'm okay with that. Just like PC builds, great things take time. There it goes again. That'd be awesome having the uh, your logo on these big. They're nice. Like the gaming, de uh, people like the ones on like, even like the gaming desk to have the full tops like that. They're nice. Yeah, I don't know whatever update they did yesterday, but now it's kicking people more often. Heck yeah. Your coffee mugs and tumblers are gorgeous too. <laughs> Me koozies, that's right, Karma collects koozies. that oh. 
Alrighty. Dave's good. He just dozed out. He's taking care of the grandkids. So, yeah. Just doing my battle buddy checks. Mama messes around and does some uh, sublamination stuff. She's hoping to make some cool stuff here soon, too. She's hoping to have a cool coffee mug done, but she was out of ink, waiting for ink to come in. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot. Uh, no problem. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, running great. Gorgeous. I think, like I said, we're going to stream for a few days and let it people see it um, get better. She is grabbing me coffee right now, Karma. There she is. Karma, that's if you got her email. She will look. And I, uh, Um, not s'mores today. She'll chat with you later on that, John. She, uh, she has one of them, too. Yes, yeah, she has a, a few things. She has a printer to do, like, the uh, heat transfers. But they're called some elimination, like you when you go to the t-shirt shops. It's um one of my favorite coffees I like, and I should just reach out to them, is um Verona Street in Dubuque, Iowa has a little bitty coffee shop. Well they started, you know, selling it. Um and it's called Cow Tipper. And it's very good. You guys, one of the weird uh, little river towns, it's got a lot of rich history, and it. it's gonna kick me out again. There it goes. Uh, they've had a few movies filmed there. It's a hobby she would love to do, but with me and two kids, we drive her far up a wall most days, and she can't come down to do her own stuff. Holy cow, there's a car out here. That's cool. I was wondering where I left my car. Oh my god, I'm gonna beat this thing yet today.
drives me bonkers. They need, they need to get it fixed. So did you go? Ha did you have fun at the mall yesterday, Sexton? Just great things. Just some of it's very time consuming and with a needy husband and a needy kids. You don't get the time she needs. Thought about doing uh, some 3D printing stuff to try and sell my little streamer merch page that I was going to build. I'm down to the trophy Warmar, uh, Warmouth, and the Oscar right now. Woohoo! That one was the hard one for me to catch too, was the trophy pumpkin seed, but I got him. It's actually a fun game. So the only thing, Sean, and I'm trying to figure out is I don't know how you do overlays for Xbox um, streaming. Be able to – all these companies use like the Tiltify app for the donations, and it's like an overlay like where my crazy vet thing is. It's like got a link that you click on to send them the donations. I've been trying to research how to do that on the uh, – On the Xbox. That way people can see things from from the other person's angle and whatnot and not just, you know, the one person's. Because you can sign as, a bunch of people up as a team, you know, and do donations. <laughs> hey, my veteran passion. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Look at that. They're hosting us this morning. That is awfully awesome of them this morning. Um, welcome, everybody, from the uh, MVP world. Um, another great organization there. Looking out for vets. I'm Crazy Vet Fam. I come chat with all my fellow vets every morning, 8.30 or 9.30 Central to 11. Um, and we uh, hang out, chat, talk. Um, Chat about benefits, uh, games we might be playing, just kind of uh, doing what we do. Um, 
MVP, we have a question we're trying to get answered here. Um, we are going to merge to the uh, – um, doing some donations and stuff. And uh, how does a said person do, like, the Tiltify or the charity stream from an Xbox? That is our question of the day. Do you know anybody that would be able to answer that question for us? We want to start raising money for the causes. Any help would rock. Um, Sean, they're another uh, 5013C getting started um, with that same drive and goal like everybody else. I mean, they're really trying to focus on, you know, the gaming that has helped the veteran world, and they try to help vets when they can, or, you know, um, they're another one that time of year to start doing some charity work for and get them some funds raised so they can help take care of more vets. That's the bottom line is, you know, these companies need funding to do what they want to do. All these, all these organizations have one goal in mind, you know. Nobody left behind. That's the biggest, the biggest hurdle for all of them. Um, correct. But I know, like, if we want to do like a charity stream, I guess is what we're asking. Uh, if we do like a charity stream, um, okay. Um, but like, how's a said person put that button on their? They would just be on their uh. The panels page, I guess, on the, the Twitch page. Yeah, um, uh, in, uh, for my boy there, uh, Sean Sexton. We're gonna start doing uh, some some streaming together, uh, doing some charity stream together, and we want to try to figure out how so we can get stuff done, get people some funds. Yeah, give me a second. My nose just started running. Uh, one second, guys. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, just trying to help out, you know, just trying to do my part. My little piece of the pie. Oh, one second. Sean, I think you have them on Discord, don't you? I'm pretty sure I sent you the, the invite. Yeah. Great group of guys there, man. Great group of guys. Some of the groups I, you know, I try to share the love with all of them, but some of them just do, uh, some of the games I just don't do anything with, Escape from Tarvo and uh, things like that, I just don't really play that much, you know? We're getting close to getting all of our goals met. I'm super excited. Can't wait to hit 200 followers so I can get dad's revenge and give makeup to the daughter. 
And like I always preach every day, man, I appreciate all your guys' support. And if there's ever any benefits, uh, questions, concerns, need to vent, I, it, if you don't want to do it here in the stream, look me up. I'm available. I mean, just shoot me a message on uh, Facebook, on Discord. Uh, I mean, if it comes to that point where I need to do my own Discord thing, I will figure it out and definitely start one. Um, just, uh, you know, my whole goal with streaming here is to, I mean, I love playing the games, but I love to have a place for us vets to go and just, I mean, there's a lot of vets that don't game, but they would love to just chat and hang out. Morning, Trev. That's my, uh, you know, th that's my little piece of the joy in life is to make sure, you know, hanging out with my fellow vets. Morning, Sneaky. But like I said before, by any means, don't I mean, don't hesitate to reach out and drop emails. Uh, crazyvetwife at gmail.com. Crazyvetfam at gmail.com. I mean, stuff you don't want to, you know, people to know about or anything you struggle with, just definitely... Definitely reach out, you know. In a lot of vets that way, I have really bad social anxiety. Um, this has been my one outlet. Um, so I tend to talk. Yeah, that was awesome of you guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. We're having a little game trouble today, but uh, I appreciate the host you guys gave me. And uh, you guys are a great organization. I love being a part of the family. Glad to, uh, you know, you guys spotlighted me to be uh, the host. Uh, um, I've got some people checking into where the question was is how to uh, do some charity streaming for you guys through an Xbox. Um, we got one of a good friend that wants to do some stuff for you guys, and we're trying to get it set up for him. So, wait to hear back on that. Uh, I think me myself, I'm going to start getting out of the uh, out of my morning chat room a little bit and do a little more heavy gaming to help pick up some more vets to maybe get them to come here in the morning and help grow. So, um, yeah, as soon as you guys can help us out with the Xbox thing, that would be awesome. I'm going to reach out to some other people I know that do some charity stuff and go from there. Um, but yeah, yeah, house, it's a beast. That's for sure. It, um, some of the specs, it's a 3097X Red Ripper in there. Um, I got the specs here. I know some people are asking, so give me one second. I had to cheat and get them myself. Yes, it's an AEM build, correct. Um, give me one microsecond here. We will go through the jaw-dropping awe. Uh, one second. All right, here's what I can tell you I know. It's a Lan and Lee um, mesh tube mid tower. Got the 3970X 32 core 64 thread. Um, it's sitting at 3.96 right now. Um, got the MSI TRX40 Pro Wi Fi motherboard. It's got the Pro Color AMD Radiant RX 5700 Red Devil 
in it. It's got um, 64 gig of Crucial Ballistics Max DDR4 4000 megahertz RAM in it. One terabyte Crucial E5 M2 PCI NVMe drive. A two terabyte Seagate HDD. Um, a Deep Castle 3, 360EX um, AIO liquid cooler. Of course, the custom sleeved cables to make the purple and black all in there. And then it's got the EVGA 850B5 power supply. So if anybody knows what all that stuff means, that's what the Beast has. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's super fancy house. It's something I would not be able to uh, afford. I'm very thankful for what I have. <laughs> it is a monster. Plus all the custom cool etching that he did, and you know, even the uh, center fan of the uh, AOI has the uh, um, uh, Black Panther mask in it. It's awesome. That's what my old system was, was Intel and the, uh, um, the Vita. This one's like all AMD, super quiet. Uh, then I got a, um, the keyboard is a, um, oh, how do you say that? I think it's a Rockat, R-O-C-C-A-T. Um, I got the, uh, um, The uh, Rocket uh, uh, Vulcan and the um, uh, Khan uh, mouse and uh, keyboard. And then the nice uh, Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero headset. So it's, uh, yes, very, uh, very fancy, very custom. Got, um, six fans in it. The three in the front are all LED, uh, and the two on the top and the one in the back are not, but, uh, yeah. Yes, actually, if we can get it figured out, maybe we can do like a uh, Beans is October. Maybe we can do some like crazy uh, games that uh, we can fish from. Or not fish, but like uh, play to raise some money. Well, now my no controls work. That's awesome. It reloaded, but it didn't work. This game in me. I like Dead by Dawn or some crazy ghost games for October, some spooky games. Appreciate everybody tuning in every morning to support me, hang out. Um, if there's ever, like I said, anything anybody wants to know or benefits they want to hear about or definitely ask, I can definitely dig into them. Um, talk about maybe getting some people to come talk about benefits. Um, OCD, Operation Candy Drop. We got the first package. I know some people have said they got packages on the way. Um, so, get candy raised for Mr. Sexton, so he has some candy for Halloween. Um, for those that don't know about it that are new, I commenced, uh, Operation OCD, which is Operation Candy Drop. One of the regulars that come in every day, um, is having surgery at Walter Reed on Halloween. So, he, uh, 
we're gonna do raise some candy for him and get it boxed up and sent to him for so he has some candy for the Halloween holiday. Uh, if you'd like any more information on that, it, you can reach out to me. Um, it. What was that, Mama? Oh, ah, uh, there'll be a some info to be posted by Crazy Vet Wife, the awesome moderator. Moderator. Moderator, raider, raider. We need to play that little theme song for her. Oh, that is a crazy. Let me click on that and let us know if it works. Otherwise, you can email crazyvetwife at gmail.com or crazyvetfam at gmail.com and we will make sure it gets done. Who doesn't like candy, right, Ninja? And he loves brownies. He is gluten free, though. We must, I must say that. He is gluten free, so we gotta make sure it's gluten free. I mean, I guess he's already gonna be in the hospital, so a little gluten, what's it gonna hurt? I'm just kidding, just kidding. We are going to go over and set up Halloween decorations this weekend. That's on my big to-do list. Tonight is the Wounded Warrior Project Friday Night War Zone, for those that don't know. Um, also, Fireside Chat. Tomorrow, My Veteran Passion has salt, Sailor Salty Chat, um, so make sure you Get in for that. If you, everybody needs anything, um, please reach out. Yes, and tonight is a stream class also. If anybody would like more information for any of them events, please reach out. Um, I need to start building the calendar because I have all sorts of stuff veterans can do and hang out. Um, I mean, that's what the goal is. We want to have fun. I know uh, there is uh, there's a tons of stuff on the post. Yes, finally got the post yesterday. There's tons of stuff out there. Um, I need to check back in with the uh, MVP people. I know they've got some things they're working on too, but they're too uh, small organization getting their feet off the ground. So um, they definitely, uh, I know they were looking for some help to help, you know, with some roles and help streaming and things. So anybody wants to help them I'm can gladly send you their discord information and gladly they would take some help I'm sure when it comes to uh, helping nonprofits any little bit of help is help I mean that's five minutes of PR that somebody else is giving that they can work on something else Yeah, I signed up for a couple classes on the post and uh, was uh, they, they were actually only offered in Puerto Rico virtually. So I yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve. And there too, people from the uh, MVP world. If you don't know about WWP or any other organizations, please reach out. Um, I will definitely try and get you as much resources or whatnot as I can. Uh, I'm. I myself have uh, been out since 05, and my goal is here is people to not miss out on resources and benefits like I did um, when I got out. So I spend my time trying to make sure people don't miss out on valuable resources so they can get the benefits they need. Um, you know, big one right now is the uh, caregiver changes for those that don't know about the caregiver program, uh, making it a lot easier to get into. They're actually opening up to uh, going to go clear back to Vietnam vets are going to be able to apply now. So it's a huge, huge benefit for people. Um, you need to, you know, make sure you're eligible. If you have somebody at home that is taking care of you, they're, uh, there's definitely a lookout for them, especially, you know, uh, any little bit, if they pay, there's resources for it. 
We, we can just ban that guy. That's all right. That's the bad thing. You start getting pretty good size following or you get a lot of people in your views. You get these little bot people in here to try and ruin your fun. What them are is for people that don't do a lot of streaming, these little people here are like bots and they will uh, try to get you to sign up and be with them. And that's how some of these big, big streamers actually have the following they have. They are, uh, um, it, it's still there. I don't think it will take it off. It just blocks them from posting more garbage on our, okay. but they, that's how you're some of your big, big people that have a bunch of viewers. They will, uh, use these little bot things to promote viewers and promote things to help them rate, you know, that's how they're getting paid pretty much. Yeah, that's a nice thing there too, Karma. You can look other places. Uh, I'm actually, we're going to do a Mario painting class. Um, I'm not a huge painter, but who doesn't like a little Mario and Luigi? Yeah, you know, and I love all these organizations. Uh, love them all. Um, some people are a little overwhelmed in their jobs, I know, and that's the bad thing. I mean, we had the same issue with uh, um, the uh, uh, WWP did the um, change in the caregiver class. Forgot to tell everybody it was Eastern time. So you had people, you know, from Hawaii to Puerto Rico trying to sign in at what they thought was their time at 4 p.m. And class was over. I mean, it's. It's a fall through, but that's, you know, that's why I'm trying to be here too. It's one of them deals. I mean, I've got the slideshow presentation where he wants it. I'll gladly get it to them. Um, it's, it wasn't super informative. I mean, it's just kind of a, the bold points of what the changes are, but I mean, anybody that, you know, didn't know it, they're kind of changing over from, uh, I mean, even if you need some supervision, you know, if you're forgetful like myself, that kind of stuff there, you can, there's, you can apply and, you know, Get some help if you need it. Uh, you know, help your family. I mean, you just gotta remember these benefits are there for us. We're, in, you know, we're entitled to them. You're not robbing benefits from somebody else. The VA comp and pen program and the VA fund is the second largest budget next to the Department of Defense. So, I mean, you're not. Don't feel like, oh well, you know, somebody's more entitled. No, we're all entitled equally. Uh, we all. Serve. We all signed on the dotted line. We all are are able to get the benefits that are out there. And, and Karma, don't struggle with that. Um, my, I don't mean to pick on me. My father-in-law is a prime example that way. He has um COPD. He was uh, you know, shot in Vietnam above a hip. He paid to have both of his hips done with his private health to care. Um. Doesn't use VA system because he's he's one of them that bleed too. There's other people that need it more. Um, it's uh, yeah, it, use it or lose it. I mean, if if ten more people sign up tomorrow, they're just gonna raise the budget for them more people. I mean, every, everybody needs to get it. Yeah, and then take care, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I mean that's just the biggest thing I can't preach. And, and if, there's tons of groups out there to help. Um, WWP has VSOs. Um, there's uh, Department of uh, the DAV, um, Vietnam Veterans of America. There's huge. There's groups out there. That's what their sole purpose is: is to help you get your benefit. I mean, uh, just I mean, I can't stress that enough. We, if you signed on the line, in you need to make sure you're getting the benefits. I don't like using this word, but you're entitled to. I, I mean, that's the truth of the matter. You sign on the line, and in your contract, it states that you will be you will be mentally, physically in the same condition when you get out as you got in, or they'll take care of you. So um, that's just kind of, I mean, no different than people getting hurt at work, getting work comp taking care of it. Um, it's the same kind of situation. 
You just need to make sure you're getting your benefits. Uh, elaborate a little bit on that, please, uh, Sneaky. Sorry, I got a little bit going there and forgot to start the game, but that's my biggest pet peeve is people that, you know, afraid they're taken from another vet. Nobody is taking off of somebody else's plate in this scenario. I will guarantee you that. It's not one of them scenarios where you uh you apply, somebody else is gonna get derated. That's not how it works at all. Correct. There is a huge budget to go around in the VA. And you know, the VA healthcare system. It's no I look at it this way, it's no different than if you go to the uh the local doctor, local hospital. There's plenty of doctors there to go around. They take care of you just like if you would go if you applied for the benefits. It's the same thing. That's, you know, that's, that's the truth. And that's where it needs to be. You never need to feel like, you know, or struggle with the fact that I'm taking from somebody else. You're you're not taking and the other benefits you guys got to look at a lot of people don't know is if you are service connected and something happens your spouse will be taken care of that's the uh something i think about too i mean and by going to the va and things like that there's stuff you know they see a lot of the same people with the same stuff and they can do studies on that kind of stuff i mean that's the biggest thing you got to look at um I am on the list there too for the uh, – I've got the titanium lung issue for my rack. Uh, I, you know, I'm on inhaler. If I had went to my normal doctor, they might have thought I had asthma or something else. You know, they, I wouldn't get the treatment that I needed correctly. You got to think of that kind of stuff too because there's how many thousands of people that might have the same thing for you. Yes, and that's – that's. you tell her I told her she has to. Not in Iowa. We are 50 out of 50. So there ain't a whole lot of extra benefits here in the state of Iowa. Yes, there's a lot of states that I – and that was my rant the other day is, you know, federally, like the hunting license thing. That should be a federal thing. I mean, that's that's a way vets can put food on their table. Yes. Yeah. You know, just like the, the the land board thing, I think there should be a, a federal veterans land board to help vets, you know, get land or housing versus, you know, some of the states have them where you can buy state land for little to nothing. The, uh, I think it should be a federal deal that way.
Yeah, I said that earlier. Uh, Dave uh, overslept. Uh, he was taking care of uh, the grandkids. He got ready to get the kids off school and stuff, and he just medicine stuff. He just kind of overslept, so he's he's good. Yeah, no, I got people fishing on my head here in this scenario here. Wish you could reach out their scissors and cut their line. And that's and that's the biggest struggle with the VA thing, or people don't understand what they're entitled to or what benefits they're able to get. Um, you know. Things like that. You know, there's people that get special monthly compensation for, you know, being 100% because, you know, they can't function in society or whatever. You know, there's all these things that people don't know they're entitled to that they are. You know, I'm one. I'm fortunate if I am 100% um, permanent total individual employable. Uh, but when I got out, in 05, my ETS was up, um, was injured in Iraq. Uh, my ETS expired in Iraq. Um, I was young enough, didn't know there was a difference. I just took my normal honorable discharge. Well, then down the road, you find out if you were to uh, let them or f push to have a medical discharge, I could have got my, you know, but now being I'm 100%, I could have got my uh, retirement benefits. Um, you know, there's... Uh, CRC, there's benefits for being in for early retirement, being you are injured, or you know things like that. But it's there's all sorts of benefits people don't know about. And the biggest thing it comes to with getting your benefits is a good advocate. You know, ha having a good good place to stand and somebody that help, helps know the benefits. You don't get, you know, pushed around or left behind and, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions. I know, I think it's on the 24th. I forgot what it is. I'm going to actually, uh, on a Saturday, talk about some benefits and we're going to have a big deal with uh, MVP on their Salty Sailor chat. We're going to a little preaching, a little benefits preaching. That's you know, because the, the other thing I remember is with like anything in the government world, all these benefits take time. So two years from now you get real sick and find out it's something combat related and then you're like well I woulda shoulda coulda um you know that's the old adage shoulda woulda coulda well now you're sick now you apply now you're waiting you know where if you're already that way got sick benefits are already there so proactive instead of retroactive <sighs> and as long as you have a good support group and a good advocate group, I mean, help get through all of it. Later today, I'm going to add some panels to my uh, Twitch page there for people. Um, people can help find some more of the organizations, you know, when we're on. Um, I, I'm not very good at that, so I kind of struggle, but I'm going to get the MVP people and that kind of stuff, you know, added to my page. Help 
get the word out, get things going. I mean, if there's a day we, you know, we can do a morning benefits and whatever do we can just pick a morning for somebody if everybody would like to be interested in that we're i'm glad to host one and do one um i can try and reach out to to wwp and see if, you know they can give me somebody from the benefits team i have no problem you know trying to break some arms and lean on people that way i you know good way to get people out there i mean if people think that's a good idea give a thumbs up an emoji, whatever. I mean, we'll definitely look into that kind of stuff for you guys. I don't know how the whole hosting thing works, so there's people watching from the MVP page that would like any of that stuff. Um, Crazy Vet Fam. It's actually family on uh, Twitch. Uh, you know, jump over there and get me a follow and i'll definitely you know we'll get it figured out or we can make sure they host the one day i'm doing it it you know whatever we'll make sure people get taken care of WWP is a great organization, but they, uh, they, uh, I know they're only open to post 9-11 people. Um, I want to make sure people of all eras are taken care of. So, I mean, if we, so, like I said, there's lots of people that don't sign up or don't feel like they're entitled. I mean, one of the statistics out there show that actually, uh, there's people that get sick and then they get put on, you know, they fill benefits out and they actually pass away before their benefits get taken care of because they applied way too late in life. I mean, it goes back to them statistics. We don't want to be one of them. We don't want to be one of the 22 statistics. We just, you know. This is my, uh, my little way to give back. Thanks for the host there, Karma. I appreciate it. I'm not even for sure how that really, really works, to be honest with you. I need to really read into that stuff. Some of the stuff I don't haven't read into. Um, honestly, I never thought. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Let me chat later, but I'll be here. You know, and that's another thing about the VA system, you know, it great guys like Sean. No problem, man. I'll be here. Yeah, we can run some COD, run some stuff. I don't have Apex. Um, I don't have Rocket League on my PC yet. I have Dead Before Daylight, and I have Sea of Thieves, and I have COD. You alright, Sean?
Gotta be a fighter, bro. I totally get. Gotta be a fighter. Are they still going to do the implant is what what she's checking into sean I, yep totally know what you mean bro No, that's the bad thing. The VA shouldn't be this way. You shouldn't need an advocate. You shouldn't need a, you know, all these people to help push, you know. Shouldn't have to be a, you know, checks and balances. We shouldn't have to have somebody look at all of our stuff to make sure the VA is treating us right. Sean, I will, uh, give me 10 minutes to get everything all shut down here because it is 11 o'clock, and I appreciate all my supporters, my followers, my subscribers, um, everybody that comes from the communities to come hang out with us, um, I will, uh, Sean, I'll give you after I get off, um, anybody else needs anything, they definitely get a hold of me, uh, but, like every day, thanks for the support, thanks for hanging out, um, like I said, if there's anything, anything you guys need or need help with benefits, fine. And please don't hesitate to reach out um, around all the time. Uh, once again, I'm Crazy Vet Fam, and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow, 9.30 Central time. That's right. We may not have all the answers, but we'll try to find somebody who does. Thanks again, everybody.